The main goal of Lambda expressions is to introduce the benefits of functional programming to Java. A Lambda is an anonymous function in Java, that is a function which does not have a name, return type and access modifiers. For example, here we have a display function which has system.out.println Bharat. The very function, same function can be expressed using Lambda in a very simple manner. Brackets within which there are no parameters, arrow mark hyphen greater than symbol to express the lambda expression, system.out.println Bharat, the only statement that we have in this method. If we have multiple statements, then we can use the flower brackets here. So it doesn't have the access modifiers, the return type, etc. Lambda expressions are also known as anonymous functions or closures. Another example here with parameters is a multiply method with two parameters. We can express this using lambda expressions as int a comma int b arrow mark sop a star b. With very few lines of code we can do a lot of work using lambda expressions. If the compiler can derive these types then we need not even specify these types here. Simply we can define a comma b. There are several benefits of lambdas. Very less code as you have already seen. With a few lines of code we can do a lot of work. Easy to implement anonymous inner classes. You will see that in action later on. And also you can pass lambda expressions as parameters to other methods which is very powerful as well. To implement lambdas in Java 8, Java 8 introduces something called functional interfaces. You need to use functional interfaces to express lambdas. You will learn what they are and how to use them in the next few lectures.